Hello there, my name is Anthony Barocas with YOLO Live, and today we're going to be talking about the built-in scoreboard. A lot of people don't realize that if you do sports, there's a really good scoreboard built in to every YOLO box. I'm going to show you how to set it up. Right here, this is the scoreboard you can make. You can choose the colors, you can choose the fonts, you can choose the logos, you can change the score, you can change whether it's first quarter, first half, and because this is live, I can move this around on the screen, I can put it in the corner. Wherever you want to, you can go into the interface, you can change the size, make it really big, you can make it really small, tuck it up into the up in the upper right hand corner over here. This is really a very flexible scoreboard and I'm going to show you how to build one of these. So I've got this one pre-built already just to really show you what you can make. But the real thing you want to know is that icon right there is your ticket to the built-in scoreboard. This one-to-one -one little icon right here, that's what you want. I'm going to walk you through each of the steps needed to really customize the built-in scoreboard in every YOLO box. So let's just say you're sideline at a soccer game, just like this. And what you're going to do is you're going to click this logo right here. That's going to bring this up. Now I am using the YOLO box mini. So the, the way that this looks on the screen, that's from the mini, but they all work the same exact way and have the same menus for setup. So Right up here, you're gonna turn on the scoreboard display and you can see it, if I tap over here, I can move it around on the screen. Now, this dotted line that's around it, that means it is not yet active. It's not on the program output, it's not being recorded. When you hit the checkbox, now it is live. It is actually part of the program, it is being recorded, it is being streamed, okay? So that's very important to know. So we're gonna turn it off, turn it back on. So now you see, I have the dotted line around it again. This is going to let me position it so we can see things a little bit better. First thing you want to notice, you have a size. You can make it really big, you can make it really small, and like I said, you can move it around on the screen because we're using a touch screen. You've got your team one, team two. This is where you change, you just change the score for each team during the game. So you just tap out one, two, three, and you can see right over here, the score is changing. Let's go back here. All right, next up, we're going to bring this up a little bit, hit the time. Time is going to add a whole bunch more stuff here on the right hand side. You could do a countdown timer. And then if you click on the timer itself, it'll tell you, okay, each period is 15 minutes. Done. Done. So now I have a 15 minute timer and I have a little play button for actually having that timer count down. Next, we have the reset time so we can reset that. Done. It's back to zero, and then we can come back here and put in our custom time. Done. Done. Next, the period. So let's just say you have first, second, third, fourth. So we're going to say this is the first period. Helps if I can spell. First period. Done. So now you can see the scoreboard has being updated with first, 15 minutes to go. And then we come down to the scoreboard styling. This is where things really get interesting. First, you have the game name. Uh, let's call this um, finals and a L finals for boys uh, eight to 12. Done. So now you can see at the bottom there, it says finals boys eight to 12. You know what, that font looks a little light. Let's come down here and find a heavier font. Let's go to Noto Sans. That looks a little better. You know, I wanna add a little bit of color to that. Not the text color, text color is fine. I wanna add a little background color. Let's make it uh, like a bright yellow, like that, okay. There we go. Next, you can see it says Team 1 Setup. Team 1, we're going to enter up to 20 characters. Let's just call Team 1 The Eagles. Done. And the Animo, let's go to Noto Sands. Let's be consistent with all of this. So we're going to Noto Sands. Done. The background color, 
uh, what is the eagle's background color? Now, this is where, in another video where I was talking about all the different graphics, the color picker also offers the ability to type in a hex code. So if you needed to match a particular color of a brand or a team or anything like that, you can easily do that. And right here, I have printed out from the internet, you can find everything on the internet, here's the Eagles and they have a hex code 004C54. So, we're going to come in here to the background color for the Eagles, we're going to type on this. I'm going to type, go to custom, and we'll come over here to the right, delete all the zeros that are in here, which is black, and we're going to go zero, zero, four, C, five, four. And there you go. That is Eagles Green. And then Team One logo. Now, you can load logos onto the SD card like any other artwork and then bring them into here, whether they be flat art or three-dimensional art or if the team gives you a logo or you grab something off the website, that all works. So we're going to click on the Team One Logo Plus button. It says 96 by 96 pixels. Done. I'm going to get the Eagles logo right here. Done. Now the ones that I have loaded, actually I'm going to just going to delete this and bring it in again. These have transparent backgrounds. You can see they're circled, they're like little button icons. And so they're gonna have a little bit of non-colored space around them, done. And now you can see in the corner, I have the Eagles logo. I have the matching color with the white. And now we're gonna do the same for this other team. What's team two? Well, one of the other teams I have already gotten the artwork for is the Bulls. Done. Background color. Again, what is the background color? I got this off the internet. Let's go over here and we're going to say custom. We're going to type on the little hex code here. And we're going to do C, oops, not Cyrillic, C E 1141. One. There you go. You get bulls red, you click OK, and that is that because you've got the hex code for that color. They give you RGB, CMYK, Pantone colors, but these colors are available for all sorts of teams and all sorts of sports on the web, easily findable. And then Team 2 logo, we're going to come over here. We are going to get the bulls logo done. And now you can see I've got the bulls color matches the logo. I got the Eagles color matches the logo. I've got first quarter 15 minutes. I've got the finals. I can easily, like I said, come back out here to the main scoreboard area. I can easily change the score. I can put this anywhere I want to, like put it down here in the bottom of the frame. I click the checkbox and now it is part of the game. Now, yes, I have icons behind it, but I don't need to touch the scoreboard. It's actually part of the game. So whether it be I'm bringing up other artwork, like a countdown timer or something like that, I don't have to worry about it. It's only when I go into the scoreboard and I say, oh, they scored. They scored two. Done. Now it's four to two. You know, and then they score again. No, they didn't, they didn't lose a the score. They, they go, score of five, coming in, coming in, and he scores, yay! And then I go into the scoreboard, and I click, he scored three. Now, there they go. This is a great example of using the built-in scoreboard that is in every single YOLA box. Customize it as you need it, make it your own, and it's a great feature that's included in the hardware that you already have. If this video has been useful to you, do us a favor. Like the video, subscribe to the channel so that you can see more great videos we have coming out for you. My name is Anthony Barocas for YOLO Live. Thanks for watching.